we are mostly water, then how crucial it is that well, the quality of the water that goes into our bodies is the finest water available. I've always talked about filtered water because the, the water that's provided through our taps leaves a lot to be desired. And some of the bottled water leaves even more to be desired than the stuff that's through our taps. Um, so unless people buy good quality bottled water, they're actually better off drinking the water out of their taps. Water became important to me when I lived in Ukraine, in Kiev, I worked as a chartered accountant there. I was living 80 kilometres away from the Chernobyl nuclear power station. I found out that the water there, even though it was 10 years after the accident, was still contaminated with radioactivity. So filtering water became important to me. Um, however, I wasn't satisfied just with filtration. I wanted to learn more about water. I got onto the internet and I discovered people like Victor Schauberger and Johann Grande. These are two separate Austrian na naturalists or scientists who did a lot of research into water, totally independently, and came to some startling conclusions. Now, if you're wondering what on earth these people are talking about and what's responsible for creating in them such a huge range of experiences, then stick with me and you'll learn why. It's water, that's what they're talking about. Water has a myriad of forms and it creates an infinite variety of patterns. We've got the ocean behind us, but we've also got it here in the atmosphere. I can't see it, but it's right here. It's in everything, it pervades everything. Water is our planet's life blood. They told me about the technology of Mr. Granda from Tyrol mm -hmm. and I thought they are very stupid because uh, I couldn't imagine that you can give information into water or uh, to, you can change water without technical equipment. What's really important about uh, Granda water is that it's returning water back to as, as nature intended it to be. It's very odd because it's almost as if the water is wetter and I know scientifically that you can have uh, higher or lower viscosity so I suppose effectively that's what happens to the water. It has been two or three years and they told me again and again and as a consumer product I said he can change the water and he can uh, optimize the water. Water is much stranger than we think. For a start, its boiling and freezing points are much, much higher than you'd expect from its chemical structure, and the temperature at which it's liquid and life-supporting just happens to coincide with the temperature of the Earth. Two-thirds of our body and 70% of the Earth's surface is water. It's connected to all life on Earth. And the most fascinating thing about it is that it also stores information. I wanted to write about uh, things that, you know, f make your health better, that give you more energy. And in the course of researching for that topic, I came across a book that talked about Johann Grander, the Austrian man who's been um, developing the whole thought process behind the Grander water. And I found it really fascinating. So um, I wanted to know more about it. And I wanted to know, well, how can I make my water better? Uh, because I've always used water filters anyway. I was very aware that the drinking water that comes out of the tap isn't ideal, to say the least. We have Granda in the Hotel Hindenburg since about five years. And we uh, have been very surprised about uh, the experience we made especially with uh, cleaning the whole uh, hotel. I had a shower and I said to my husband, something's changed with the water, what have you done to the water? And he explained to me that he'd put a grander unit in. Grander technology produces water that is vibrant, fully energised and clear. This is the ultimate water. Being a healthcare professional, um, I do understand about the homeopathic principles. So, in that respect, yes, I can see that very, very good quality water, when other waters pass by it, will transfer its energy onto um, the tap water. The Grander system is nothing to do with magnets, it's everything to do with water. The Grander system uses highly energized water, which itself transfers this energy or information to other waters like the tap water that flows through the unit. That's the basic principle of how it works. To my understanding, 
um, there is a high energy water inside of the energy rod and that is able to pass on this high energy to the liquid that it comes in close contact with. The extraordinary thing about grandeur is that it is very subtle but it is also very profound. Uh, and if you start with the water that you use, then you're changing your whole body. It sounds so simple it's unbelievable, but that's the reality. Just as a seed contains all the genetic information it needs either to become a daisy or a parsnip or even a giant oak tree, so every water molecule contains its entire history. The trouble is though, water absorbs both the positive and the negative influences of its environment and it passes these on to us when we come into contact with it. So if water is damaged, it stands to reason it can only pass on that negative information. If we poison our water, we're poisoning ourselves. Water is not a poison. Water is fundamental to life. But if you abuse water and put poisons into it and try and scrub them out, if you just leave the tiniest trace of that poison, are you happy to give that partially poisoned water to your children? I'm not. I'm passionate about water and I believe that water has to be made pure and safe to drink. And that means pure not just chemically, but pure energetically. We have to develop uh, water systems all over Europe, mm -hmm. also all over the world, that everybody has the right to get good, clear, healthful water. I believe it's possible for water to lose its vi vitality. The water that comes through our taps has been recycled over and over again um, and comes to us as quite damaged water. We are water. The whole planet is nearly all water. And so we, we need to investigate water and our relationship to it. We need to change in our mind. That's the most important thing, that we say water is a holy thing. Yet we're becoming increasingly and painfully aware that the water we use is more and more contaminated with nasty chemicals. Typically, tap water contains a whole mass of chemicals, including aluminium sulphate, which is used in water filtration, and estrogen from the contraceptive pill. And these are just a couple of the chemicals that are reducing water's natural health-giving properties and making it far less effective in processes that depend on the natural quality of water. Water from a natural spring is absolutely packed with vitality and sparkle. And this vitality is power because it's washing up directly from its source. Trouble is, water can lose that vitality and power because as it travels over long distances in pressure pipes, it can be destroyed and drain away. So water can lose vitality, but the great news is we can put it back. Historically, different springs have been associated with healing and the mineral and energetic content of these springs varies from source to source. Now this has huge implications for users of modern tap water because that water has been chemically treated and sometimes has even been recycled. Now look, our skin, it's the largest organ of the body and every time we get in the bath or shower we're going to be absorbing any toxins that are in that water. Thousands of grander water users have reported significant improvements in their health, particularly when they've been suffering from skin complaints. All too often, ill health is a result of dehydration. Well, what does grander water do? It rehydrates better than tap water. In the restaurant and in the kitchen, we realized that uh, no milk is gone, the soups are all the day okay and also the salad is very fresh and especially uh, we made the experience that uh, the people asked us if we have a new coffee because uh, uh, the tasty differs a little from uh, that to the normal water. Lime scale, bacterial growth and excessive chlorination can completely spoil a customer's experience and wreck a business. But with grander water, these severe problems can be considerably reduced, making for hundreds of businesses serving happier customers and benefiting from greatly reduced running costs.
the work started at the beginning of the year and in June it was filled. It was filled with groundwater and the water stayed here until mid of November uh, when you know winter started here. And there was quite a few observations. Number one is you know the water was uh, very clear, crystal clear, no algae has formed and then we observed a few other things like here on the wood you could see the water line and above the water line you see some you know uh, impact you know from uh, wind and you know sun and so on but here on the be below the water line it's very clean the sand you can go to the ground it's totally clean there's no smell and even no sign you know that there has been any water inside everyone told him you know if you have you know no cleaning system no filtration nothing at all you can't keep the water stable but apparently you know the granda uh, unit you know made it work water is essential to industry in a wide variety of ways and often in some rather unusual settings i was walking around sainsbury's about half an hour later and I suddenly thought to myself, I'm walking differently. I, I thought, no, I'm just imagining it. And then Sally and I, we both had trolleys and we were wandering around. And when I met her up, I said to her, do you know, I'm walking differently. I said, my hips just feel so much freer. I said, I can't put it down to anything else but this little pant that I've got on. There's a different uh, feel to the skin uh, after bathing. When I had the unit put in, I had the guy put in the, the thing, the grandeur thing for the heating system. And, um, and that was early spring. But I tell you, the radiators are hot. They are pumping hot. You need to turn the thing down. I'm in the habit of buying flowers for my wife from time to time. Um, but I sometimes forget. But what I have noticed, and this is really strange, is that when I now put flowers into a vase for my wife um, in grander water, the flowers often last twice as long as before. And when you take the flowers out, the water doesn't smell. Since I've had it installed in my house, the changes are quite subtle, but they're profound nonetheless. The washing gets cleaner with less washing powder. I'm not quite sure how that works, but all I can say, it does work. And I'm very pleased with it. Also like the fact that it's maintenance free, of course. Well, it's been, it's been quite funny, actually. The energy rod that I've been um, taking over to visit with friends. Uh, we've had quite an amusing time where we've sat around and tested all sorts of different alcohols using the energy rod. And one of my friends, I think, quite cleverly nicknamed it the booze enhancer, which um, for the reasons that it actually improved, I think, every alcohol we tested um, quite significantly. We did blind tests and it makes it much smoother, much more palatable and just much more pleasurable to drink. I was permanently dehydrated and I'm not anymore. I had a slight lower backache where my kidneys were and that's gone. Um, so my energy has improved, but mainly, um, noticeably, the taste of water. I really like to drink it now. When you fill the bathtub with this stuff and you lay in the bath, you start to feel, you know how your skin, in, in the regular water, your skin usually gets prunes here. But these get, it gets prunes, and it gets prunes really fast. It's almost like your whole skin is simply just absorbing it, so you get a lot more waterlogged very, very, very quickly. So a shower is exhilarating, but it just has a sort of gentle feel to it. I noticed immediately that the water had a softer feel to it, and definitely had a vibrancy to it. Um, it felt like it, when you're drunk, it, it really penetrates you, and it was gorgeous to wash with and my dog. There's one plant in my living room which was about half the size and is now growing very, very vigorously. It, it, you can see it best with this plant, but friends have actually commented on it and said, what have you done? Have you, are you using any fertilizer? And I'm not. All I'm doing is I'm watering it with a grander treated water. Your skin over time, I think you'll feel the difference. I uh, had to turn my boiler down. I normally have it on the highest setting to wash up and I couldn't put my hands in the water anymore, it was so hot. One year ago, a meeting, a European meeting with uh, medicians, and they changed their experiences. And I think we have in Germany 40 or 50 uh, doctors, uh, medicians, they are working with this water. I've been so impressed with the pendant that we ordered a, um, a unit and we had that fitted. 
and since it's been fitted, certainly the, our plants, like Vera's plants, are growing so much better. Um, the dogs drink a lot more water. <laughs> Now when water's revitalised, nothing's added to it and nothing's taken away either. It just becomes fully vibrant and that means it becomes extremely resistant to any negative external influences. Every day, all of us, although we might not know it, are bombarded by negative influences. I'm talking microwaves, mobile phones ringing all over the place, the additives that we eat in our food and the chlorine and other nasties that we usually drink. Sounds pretty grim, doesn't it? But there is a ray of hope. Because what do we do most during each day? We drink masses of water and we bathe. So if we get the water right and use water that's biologically natural and pure, then we won't be as adversely affected by the other external influences. And that's where grounder water comes in. It makes a difference to water. It returns water back to where it was meant to be. Healthy water like we get from nature. I can feel that when I bathe in it. I can feel that when I drink it. It has uh, vitality. Or start with one of the penogenesis. You can feel the difference with just one of those things and then build up. In September 2000, the Russian Academy of Natural Sciences presented Johann Grander with their Silver Honorary Award for developing Grander technology because they maintain that his discovery is of vast significance to the whole world. <laughs> Johann Grander has discovered a unique way of structuring and formatting water which enables it to transmit its own power and information. So this of course as you can imagine produces a profound effect on people, on animals, on plants and on the whole environment. Grander uses as his starting point a natural spring which occurs 300 meters underground so this means it hasn't had any contact at all with environmental pollution. To get to its source, the water filters for 40 years through 300 metres of ancient granite rock and it's only then that it gets treated by the special revitalisation technology and that increases its potential for hydration for all living things. What's extraordinary is that when ordinary tap water comes into contact with grander information water, its primeval force is restored. It's almost like it's remembering what it originally was and it has a better ability to stay pure. And the Austrian naturalist Victor Schauberger claims, and I quote him, water is only fully mature and informed when it comes to the surface by itself. If water is forced out, it will lack maturity and will contain negative information. I understand the skeptics because I have been very, very skeptic. I, I said it's uh, out of mind. I was highly skeptical. It was a major financial investment I made. And when I had a unit in the house, I thought, well, was it worth it? I want to say to the skeptical people uh, that Granda water has only positive things. Having tried my friend's Granda unit, I wanted one. So I would say to people, try it. Johan Granda has discovered how to crack the code of what water really is. And whenever any other water comes into contact with the information water, it's reminded of what it really is. There's no electricity involved, it's just water coming into contact with water. This vital source is now available to all of us. We can have grander technology in our own homes and start benefiting from it immediately. This is the portable energy world. Now that's got grander water in it. You can use it anytime and anywhere. Really good in cups of tea. It'll revitalize your water. Or you've got this simple pendant that's filled with grander water and that too has a really powerful effect. The installation itself was very impressive. It was surprisingly easy to get the unit installed. Um, we contacted um, our usual plumber who came over and he actually just turned off the water at the stopcock valve, um, cut the pipe quite simply and then just put the unit in with a few minor attachments and it was usable within less than an hour. The installation was probably more hassle-free 
than an ordinary plumber. The revitalisation process is achieved using boxes like these. These metal boxes all contain ground information water and you could have this one fitted to your home or your business water supply. If you want something smaller though, then you could fit this one to your hose pipe or to your shower. And in big commercial settings where you're probably going to need something as big as these ones, don't worry because the installation process is simple and straightforward. I want that many other uh, hotels and colleagues use the Grander Water. As a therapist, I'm confident to recommend Grander Water to my patients because it's the best water that people can drink, because it's revitalised and it makes water much more bioavailable to us. Water is so important to us, uh, there's much more to it than meets the eye. To sum up Grander Water, for me it's the difference between brine nylon and silk. What you would like, my friend, is natural, pure, vital water. Grander Technology will give you that. I think it will have a big, uh, a great future. Mm -hmm.